day to get out and about out there. Time now for a check in on the weather. Meteorologist Josh Nichols checking your seven with a forecast. Hey, Josh. Yeah, hey there, Taylor, and good evening, everyone. Yeah, I think we sealed the deal in terms of getting uh, a little bit of rain around these parts. Some drought denting dampness uh, made its way into Buffalo uh, right around two o'clock or so. We had some showers, made it up to 75 for top temp today, made it up to 80 in the falls. And of course, even if you didn't see the rain today, you're definitely feeling that moisture. Dew point temperatures are into the 60s. So that's squarely in the uh, muggy to even humid category. Going to stay that way here through the weekend. Later on next week, I think it'll be a little bit more comfortable. But as far as our hour by hour rain chances go here through Sunday, I think your best chance for getting in on some showers probably early tomorrow afternoon. There's going to be a lot of dry time here uh, for tomorrow. Uh, more dry time than even what we saw today. And speaking of what we saw today, 18 one hundredths of an inch of rain in the old rain bucket. We still have a decent deficit, though, so uh, we need some more showers and we'll pick up on maybe one or two tomorrow. Water temperatures right now are into the mid 60s. The UV index is very high for tomorrow. Uh, it's a little bit more sunshine coming our way, so slip on the T-shirt, slap on the sunscreen, slap on the hat and wrap on those sunglasses. Breezes will be out of the northeast at five to ten knots. As far as additional showers are concerned, most of the activity for tomorrow and into Monday will be over uh, Wyoming County and into the Genesee Valley, but we could pick up on a quarter of an inch of rain here in uh, western New York as we look to our west. There's the next weather maker, an area of low pressure. Another one will spiral our way, and that promises to bring more unsettled weather for Monday, for Tuesday, even into the start of Wednesday. So keep that umbrella on standby. Right now, mostly cloudy on Skywatch 7, 72 degrees, the wind out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour. And again, it's another case of air you can wear lots of humidity. But again, we've managed to dodge a lot of the showers. Low pressure is kind of twirling like a big old top right over us. So we've got the showers to our east, showers to our west, and even a couple of thundery downpours as well. High resolution modeling showing a mostly cloudy sky for tonight. Maybe a little bit of fog, much like we saw earlier this morning for tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. Again, most of the showers south and east of Buffalo with temperatures that will largely be into the upper 70s to near 80. Tonight we drop into the mid 60s. Tomorrow you're up to 80 in Niagara Falls with a blend of clouds and sun. A couple of showers in Lockport. A couple of showers in Lancaster as well. You're at 81. 82 should do it for a high in Buffalo. And again, more icky stickies and uggy muggies 77 for your top temp in Salamanca. Have a check at your super seven day forecast. The normal high right now is right around 78. We'll be a little bit above that here for tomorrow and for Monday as well. And then it does turn a little bit cooler, but you're really not going to notice it because the humidity is going to stick around for the middle of the week and we'll still be dodging more raindrops as well. We'll start to dry out by the end of the day. Yeah,